A true Sikh is one who listens to the Sikhya of the Guru. So we are defined not by our actions, but whether or not we are listening and applying the meaning of what the Guru is saying. We're not defined by the way we look or whether we wear all the right Sikh clothes. That doesn't define a Sikh. It's whether you're listening to this wisdom, whether you're applying this wisdom, whether you understand that actually this has nothing to do with you, whether you understand the bigger picture of the oneness, if you're going on this journey to find this oneness. That defines what a Sikh is. The Guru's teaching defines the Sikh. You don't define yourself. You're defined. It's like if you say, I'm a, a medical student. How are you a medical student? Because I'm learning medicine. If I'm a law student, I'm learning. So the subject that you're learning defines who you are. So we are defined by one thing and one thing only, that are we listening to the Guru? Are we following what the Guru is actually telling us? Or are we listening to everybody else? Is our Sikhi defined by how other people tell us this is what a Sikh is. A Sikh is one who grows their hair. A Sikh is somebody who washes five times a day. A Sikh is somebody who goes and does these prayers. Yeah? We're listening to everybody else and trying to define our Sikhi. This is why we're getting lost. We only define our Sikhi by the master of this subject, by the Guru.